Hey everybody, I'm doing a quick video about traveling with the Optima CM by Diverite, the Choptima. One of the things I really like about this unit is it is one of the smaller CCRs on the market, which makes it one of the easiest CCRs to travel with. I find that there is more than enough room on a carry-on sized bag for the entirety of the Choptima, minus the oxygen cylinder, and curiously enough, the bag. I could probably find a way to manipulate it into the case, but instead what I do is I just fold it into itself and then I, I pack it into a medium sized backpack known in the airline industry as a personal item. And in that backpack goes the bag, a couple changes of clothes and bathroom supplies, maybe some electronics, no space goes un, unused. And, uh, and that's how I ca carry the bag from the Choptima with me onto the flight. The rest of the gear that I would like to, or at least most of the gear that I would like to bring with me on board, ends up fitting in the hard case on the carry-on size. Now, I went with an Anuk 935 as my carry-on case, and I did it for a very simple reason. I was comparing and contrasting that to a, a similar Pelican case, and I'm gonna link in the, in, in, in the, the box above, uh, a very helpful video that I found in, in showing the strengths and weaknesses of, of both units. And they both have strengths and weaknesses over their competitor, but in general, my, my decision was these cases are very, very similar. They're, they're excellently made and, and they would more than do the job. I went with the Nanook because it was on sale for $60 cheaper and included the lid organizer. My hope was to use the lid organizer to organize some of the smaller pieces of my kit. It almost worked. More on that in a moment. Now, if you decided to go with a Pelican or even any similar sized kit case, I think this video is gonna be applicable because you're still gonna get a sense as to how much you can fit in, in a standard carry-on sized luggage, how much gear you can make happen. So let's get into that. Not only did I include the, the parts of the rebreather other than the uh, oxygen tank and, and bag. I also included three regulators. I was doing some technical diving. I included my Shearwater Petrol and Shearwater Nerd. I included three flashlights. I included some other little bits and bops of, of things and, and they all fit into the case really pretty easily. Which brings me to the lid organizer. I'm choosing not to use it because it does take up space in the kit. And with the lid organizer installed, it took me two or, three two or three tries to get all of the pieces to fit and the lid to close and latch properly. I would rather have the extra space than the extra organization, especially because TSA required me to unpack this for them. And when it was time to put it all back together, it took two or three times to get it all to fit properly, and I could feel everyone's eyes watching me as I was delaying their process as I'm trying to get my stuff repacked. Another TSA note, I was traveling with an extended air cartridge packed in the canister. That's what caused them to check my gear, but it did pass their inspection. Something to know. Anyway, with all of the gear in here as it is, with the extended air cartridge packed, and I did do that for you today, the weight comes in at just about 40 pounds, which means if you do have to check this bag, you should be able to avoid excess weight fees. All right, let's be honest. If you had a soft sided bag, it would probably allow you a couple of extra inches of packing space, and that could make a big difference. We've all been, we've all carried on bags larger than the allotted size, right? Maybe it's just been my bad luck, but I've been on three different flights in recent years where passengers have been required to check bags that they were planning on carrying on board with them. On one of those flights, the gate crew decided which bags were going to be checked by measuring all of the bags. And if your bag was even just a little bit oversized, into the bottom of the plane it went. I was caught in that trap and there was no talking my way out of it. I've decided to go with a hard case because if I need to check my bag for whatever the reason, I feel that much more comfortable that my gear is going to be protected. Your opinions and results may differ. Anyway, hope this helps. Dive safe.